5.6, remember i equals the square root of negative 1. And so i times i equals negative 1. And that's what I want you to remember, that i times i is negative 1. So when I have a problem like this, I put the two i's together. So I go i times i times i, and I group them in twos. So i, 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 i minus 3i plus 2ii. Now I know that i times i is negative 1, so when I simplify, I get negative 3i. Negative 1 times negative 1 is 1 times 2i minus 3i minus 2. And then I always put the real part first, the part without the i. You should put the real part first as minus 2, and then you can add all those and you get negative 4i. Remember, put the real part first, the imaginary part second. It's like putting your fork on your left and the spoon and knife on the right when you eat dinner. It's the proper way to do it.